Warren Gardner coming to you from Studio K. A lot of people at their holiday parties this evening. We are breaking news, and you know that Brian Cashman and Scott Boris were very busy following those winter meetings in San Diego as one of the best arms on the free agent market was highly touted. The Yankees had a lot of interest in him, but there was a little bit of a gap. It was said that after they got the Aaron Judge deal done, that they were motivated rather to get this thing done. Now you look at the probable rotation for the 2023 season. How about this? Anchored by Garrett Cole, the lefty Rodon there in the two spot, and then Nestor Cortez, Luis Severino, Frankie Montez, and so on and so forth. For more on this one, let's bring in our own Brian Hoke, who's been following this story closely. Brian, uh, what was your reaction to this news when it just broke? Well, I'll tell you, I think that. Hal Steinbrenner lived up to his word. He told Aaron Judge when they were negotiating that nine-year deal, Hal Steinbrenner said, look, we can get this deal done and we can still do more to make the Yankees better, to close that gap on the Houston Astros. And he's delivered um, by getting Carlos Rodon, the, the best available starting pitcher on the market now that Jacob deGrom and Justin Verlander are off the board. Uh, this is a big one for the Yankees. I think you'd have to go back probably two decades to find a more formidable starting rotation in the Bronx. I'm going back to when Mike Mussina, Roger Clemens, Andy Pettit, those guys were all in there. Because even in 2009, when they won the World Series, they did that by having only three guys make starts. I think top to bottom, this Yankee rotation, it's probably the most formidable in the American League right now. I think it's a big step forward for a team that uh, needed to do more here this offseason. Brian, why was it so important to get a lefty in that rotation? I think Yankees, in, uh, you know, lefties in Yankee Stadium are always very valuable. And you can go back historically the way the park dimensions work there. But uh, it's not just the fact that Rodon pitches with his left hand. It's the fact that he's really, really good. And we were talking to Aaron Boone about him a little bit during the winter meetings. And that was what he said. He said, man, he's good. He's really good. He would be a difference maker in any rotation. And uh, now he'll be coming to the Bronx. And we had heard that. He's an East Coast guy. He's from Miami, was kind of leaning that way, was hoping that something would work out on the East Coast for him after uh, being out in San Francisco in the Bay Area for a couple years here. Uh, I think this is going to be a good fit, him coming to the Bronx. The question with him has been health, but when he's on the mound, he is as dominant as anybody. Yeah, you're right. His stuff is absolutely filthy in the way that ballpark is laid out. I think uh, his stuff is going to play very well. You're just talking about him being a Miami guy. Obviously, he held his own in Chicago with the media. It's a different story in San Francisco. How do you think he's going to handle the New York media? I think he'll, he'll be ready for that. Um, I think that you don't come into the Yankees fold and not understand what that means playing in a major media market like New York City. The spotlight burns a little brighter. It just does. That's reality. And I think that you don't come to the Yankees and accept that kind of money, that kind of commitment there. He has a no trade clause. Uh, that, I think, shows that he wants to be a Yankee, wants to be in pinstripes. And with him and Garrett Cole at the front of that rotation, and then you mix in guys like Luis Severino, Frankie Montas, Nestor Cortez in there, I'll take my chances with that rotation in a play in a playoff series. And that uh, I know the pitching was not the reason the Yankees got eliminated in the ALCS. It was that they didn't hit. But, uh, you know, it, pitching wins championships and the Yankees have a really good staff right now. Yeah. When you look on that at that on paper, especially when healthy, that's going to be tough to contend with. Are you guys or are the Yankees done now in this offseason, Brian? No, they have more to do. That definitely. And, you know, Brian Cashman was talking to us about that uh, at the winter meetings and saying that left field is a vacancy right now. It's something they need to address. And, uh, you know, Andrew Benintendi still out there as a free agent. I would not rule out a reunion with him. Uh, I think that just comes to a matter of figuring out a salary and a length there. But clearly the Yankees uh, traded for Benintendi for a reason. They didn't get to see uh, him fully because he got injured there with kind of that freak wrist injury. But maybe you bring him back. Maybe you work on a trade. Uh, you can bring in some guys there. I know they've talked to the Twins or Max Kepler, but I don't see them going into 2023 with uh, some combination of Aaron Hicks and Oswaldo Cabrera in left field. That's the way it would be on paper right now. I think there's more to do.